I'm Kelly from Science Planning. I think the best target is number one, Tethys. Tethys is composed almost completely of water ice and has two striking features of interest. The first is the huge impact basin called Odysseus, which will be viewable during our observation window. When it was formed, Odysseus must have been deep with high mountains surrounding its rim and a towering central peak. Over time, the rim and central peak collapsed and the crater floor relaxed to conform to Tethys' spherical shape. The second feature of interest is the massive trench called the Ithaca Chasma. It is possible that this trench formed due to the Odysseus impact. These features are important to scientists because they support the hypothesis that Tethys was once warmer and may have even had a liquid center. If Tethys had been colder and more fragile at the time of impact, the moon might have been shattered to pieces. Even if it did survive impact, a colder Tethys would have allowed Odysseus to retain its original shape, similar to the crater Herschel on Mimas. We had two close flybys of Tethys so far. Magnetometer data from one of these flybys showed a very slight possibility that Tethys could be feeding the E-ring. Although the amount of material that Tethys contributes is extremely small relative to Enceladus, this possibility puts Tethys in the small group of elite icy moons that definitely warrant further study. I'd say let's point the cameras at Tethys and allow scientists to get another look at this interesting moon.